Label Expo 2023. Uh, I have the Flint Group um, stand behind me and the Xycon booth as well. Uh, Xycon is uh, not only one of the most respected uh, technology brands uh, in the digital printing industry, but is also one, one of the founders of uh, uh, digital print technology in the label market. In fact, they installed uh, the very, very first uh, uh, toner-based, uh, dry toner uh, press in the label uh, industry in 1996, which is uh, a, an age ago. Um, even if uh, Xycon introduced uh, inkjet technology in recent years, the dry toner technology is still a very, very important, a key ingredient uh, in their uh, value prop proposition. Even this year, as we will see uh, during this uh, short uh, report. But now <clears throat> it's probably time to start uh, my uh, technology walk through the Xycon and the Flint Group stand. The first stop is the uh, Xycon LX3000. It is a new press launched at uh, Label Expo. Uh, it's uh, here behind me. And I'm going to meet uh, Frank Jacobs. Uh, Frank is uh, uh, the senior product manager of uh, Xycon. And uh, so I'm going to ask you some, uh, something more about this uh, new baby. I see that uh, it's, it's a lot about speed. Exactly. Good meeting you, Lorenzo, by the way, you're on the booth at Label Expo. Indeed, we have a, a new uh, machine here on the booth. It's the Lion, the LX3000, and it's running 42 meters per minute. That is 40% faster than the previous model, which was the CX300, running at 30 meters per minute. How did you make it faster? We made it faster by uh, uh, changing uh, quite some things inside of the press. First of all, the uh, print medium conditioning, the conditioning before the machine goes actually to the print stations. Then a, uh, a, a fuser, a preheating fusing device. And then also we did quite some changes in the print station itself. For instance, an extra corona to do uh, an erase inside of the machine. Are there any uh, extra features, extra things that were not uh, available for the previous series? Yes, this machine also includes the Zycon cruise control. With the cruise control we are measuring five parameters constantly in terms of quality. For instance, the density of the print stations, for instance, the color, color registration, and for instance, also the, the, the color reference. How does it work? So we have two uh, uh, sent, uh, measuring devices inside of the machine, a spectrophotometer, but also an in, uh, inline registration camera. We are printing all the time next to a job. The, this, sorry, the, 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 uh, is that uh, yeah, tool? So, that, so this one that you see there is the registration. Yeah. The uh, spectrophotometer you cannot see because it's a little bit hidden. Okay. Okay, and, uh, and then we print. How does it work? Yeah, so we print next to the job a strip which is constantly changing. This is for the color reference. We, are, we have another. A very small patch for the color to color registration and so on. We measure that. Uh, the software does uh, the calculation to need to adapt the settings of the press. And if the quality is good, we can print a green button next to the job to say, okay, this is okay. Okay, so this is for color, this strip is for color, and this strip is for the registration. And the, op and the operator can check the color himself yes. and be safe that everything is, right. is going as well. Right. Yes. Okay. So the color, the, the operator uh, still is of course the master of the quality. Um, he says, okay, my color is now good. And from that moment on, we measure and if there is a delta E of two or more, then we say, hey, uh, maybe this is not good enough, please check. Okay, thanks Frank. Thank you, Lorenzo. Inkjet is uh, one of the most uh, widespread uh, technologies uh, in the field of uh, uh, label printing and label converting and Xycon has uh, Inkjet as well in its own uh, product portfolio. Uh, behind me we have the PX 3300 uh, which is a well-known uh, narrow web press uh, which is now equipped with uh, something new. There is something new inside and um, I'm uh, going to meet uh, 
Johan uh, van de Velde, who is the product manager for uh, all the inkjet products at the uh, Xycon. So, okay. hi, Johan. Hello, everyone. Hi, so, and come to our uh, boot, I would say, with our uh, PX3300. Very important. We are just launched our new LED inks, making our machine the lowest carbon footprint that you can find on the full show. So with these inks, you can save quite a lot of energy, which moves us to a category A label. Let us go to this famous label. So we place them now on all our machines. It is, this is a very interesting approach. It's uh, completely new it's to, completely new. to, yeah, the, to the industry yeah. and it looks like uh, the, the plates, like the labels we find uh, on the domestic appliances, for example. Correct, yeah. Okay, where yeah, you can see the class a, from A to G. It's exactly the same. It's no? exactly the same. Indeed, we, we, we combine it with one side the energy that you use for the machine to really so say how much it consumes. Also, on the coloring part, how much it's to make your colors, you make your inks, how, how, yeah, how CO2 consuming it is. And otherwise, how much waste you have. And by this, you combining this three, you can create an overall category of your machines. And we have this not only on our Panther, we have it also on our toner machines. To really, it, we want to launch it in the market as belief in sustainability overall. Okay, and uh, in uh, uh, this press, uh, the, the key component is the ink, of course, it's the ink, and, and the, the uh, curing, the LED curing, correct. which is what really helps to reduce uh, dramatically the uh, power yeah. consumption. Indeed. So what, what we did was uh, we combined the LED, the new LED inks, the wavelengths that the ink needs, we combined it with the LED, the new LED lamp, that's in there, that they are matching correctly, so that you have a full, full adhesion and a full strength of your ink, and it stays the same. The mercury is fully removed out of the machine, so we don't need it anymore, and indeed by that you have your energy saved. Thanks, Johan. You're welcome. Yeah. Software is uh, becoming increasingly important uh, for all the digital press uh, manufacturers and also Xicon has its own uh, software uh, ecosystem uh, based on a, a Xicon X800 uh, digital front-end uh, technology. Uh, here at Label Expo I'm going to uh, meet Adrian, Adrian Bisons who is the uh, workflow a specialist uh, at uh, Xicon and uh, you are here to show, to demonstrate this uh, uh, variable data, variable layout functions, right? Yes, exactly. So our X800 workflow is our digital front end that allows our customers to do everything that they need to do in terms of preparing jobs for printing. I see you have some uh, samples. Yes, it's, yes. It's, it's a, a, a this part of a web printed on a Zycon Press yes, with yes. variable. So this is a row printed on our Zycon Press um, where we employed all of our possible functionality. So we have our variable data uh, abilities where we use QR codes, variable text pictures, variable data from the file and so on. Um, and we can simply take that and employ that onto the job. Another part is, for example, Veroni here, here below. Um, this is a uh, functionality that allows you to print completely unique generated labels from a base design where we make small clippings and then we place a label on top of it, for example. It means that I don't need a, an extra um, pre-press tool or a software. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I start I from, from a standard uh, layout, from the, the standard yes, label, yes. and the software creates all the variables. Yes, yes, exactly. And you don't need additional software, you don't need a designer or a pre-press operator. A, a, a press operator can do this himself. What you will see on the job, for example, is because of our uh, strong width uh, and the position tools, we can, for example, in position two jobs next to each other using the very lane functionality that allows us to save a lot of substrate for our customers um, because we use that what is supposed to be waste. We use that for other jobs. And does it affect the, 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 pre the printing speed? No, or no, no. The machine no, runs at full speed. And because our software is built from the ground up with the rip being first and all the other 
uh, uh, tasks following that. Everything is extremely fast, um, what you wouldn't find with competition. And is it available to all the Excycon customers? Yes, with yes. All Excycon presses? All, <coughs> all presses, all technologies, uh, uh, whatever that you use. Okay, thanks Adrian. Bye-bye. The next station is uh, this uh, uh, application area that Cycle calls added value uh, applications. And uh, uh, I'm here with Frank again. Um, okay, is, uh, I see you are uh, uh, showing some uh, samples of your uh, new uh, Titan toner technology. Correct. So uh, these uh, samples have been printed out a paper-based uh, flexible packaging material from uh, from SAPI. So it has a barrier on this side and it's also a heat seal. This was printed with Titan in four colors, CMYK, and then we used an extra specific tone to that melts again in a curtis device to apply in a digital way the uh, uh, foiling. So you see here this is a uh, gold foil that we add. And in this way, actually, we have a digital uh, way of bringing foil on top of the print. Okay, anything else? I, I remember these samples um, are uh, uh, built and designed uh, with using your uh, uh, Vary1 uh, software? Correct. Correct. With Vary1 software, we are able to create unique labels. This is a roll of maybe 1,000 butterfly labels but each of the butterflies is different. Uh, uh, if you look at the, into the details, each is different. Now we can use actually, we combine this with uh, this technology and then actually you can even go a step further and you can make a foiling unique. In these labels, you will see foiling and each foil on each label is unique. Okay. This is something that no, one, no other technology can do means that uh, uh, you, you have uh, added a foiling module to the, to the press, to the Titan press? Correct. So we print in the press four colors Titan toner, one color a regular toner, and that regular toner will be used as a glue, as a transfer layer in the Kurtz model, which is an external unit, which you can actually see in all the lab. Thank you very much. You're welcome.